Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this will be a little bit different video. I usually do videos on coding and making code. But, um, you know, I'm kind of, one, I've kind of taught most of what I currently know and I'm a little busy to go learn a new framework right now to make a video on a new framework. But what I have done is I've downloaded a new productivity suite. So. I'm a Linux user, so as you can see, I'm using Zubuntu with the XFC desktop. I like it because it kind of makes my computer, you know, uh, 8 gigs of RAM run a lot smoother than it otherwise would. Okay, um, but what I did do is I downloaded a new Office suite. So basically, as you know, most Linux distros will come with LibreOffice off the bat. Uh, and I'll probably come back and do videos on those as well. But I just downloaded this only Office uh, suite. So I'm going to try it out, see what it's like. So let's do that. So I'm opening it up. Let's see how long it takes to open. Do, 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 do. It's the first time I'm opening it, so it might take a little longer than it probably usually would. Give it a minute. <laughs> Maybe I didn't click it. I click it again. If I ended up opening twice. Okay, so it's opened up. So this is what it looks like. So it looks like welcome to only office test. Welcome to work on documents offline. Or connect to the suite to your cloud, only office, own cloud, next cloud. Let's see here, create an only office cloud, why not? Okay, so I'm assuming this is probably me with something like Electron, because it looks like it's sort of kind of like a browser application built into a desktop application. So complete the short form and get a free 100-day trial of your secure... Nah, I see. Okay, so I'll just work offline. So let's try a document. Do, 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 do. Taking a bit to load. Okay, so let's see here. Let's do some editing. Okay, I can edit text. I got my rulers here to adjust margins and whatnot. Let's see, this definitely has a much more of an Office 2013 vibe. Um, let's see here, we got all our normal font stuff. That all looks good. What's this? Color schemes, different heading fonts, inserts, headers, footers, tables, charts. This all looks pretty straightforward. Just have to deal with the layout, create footnotes, collaboration, track changes. I'm assuming this is using the encrypt plugins. YouTube. Okay, you can put in YouTube videos. That's nice. Photo editor. That all sounds very nice. And let's see what I can save. How saving works. Save as. Let's try that. Okay, and I can choose from document template. Open document. RTF file. Okay, so you get some decent options. Got text file. I can save things as a PDF file. That's always very good. Okay. Okay, so that all works pretty nicely. Let's take a look at the next thing, the spreadsheets. Save changes, and nah. Okay. I'm not a big fan of this sort of lag when opening up a new document, but uh, let it go at the moment. Loading. It's very nice looking. Okay. Very much sort of like Excel 2013. That's my bird. Squawking off in the distance, but you can make tables, images, shapes. Okay, well, pretty much the stuff you'd expect is here. Margins. Formula stuff. More functions. Data. Collaboration. Protection. Plugins, and again, you can add YouTube, 
other good stuff. Okay, so yeah, overall that looks pretty nice too. Let's try editing a slot, a thing. Let's just make a few numbers. One, two, three. Let's try making a formula equals sum. Good, that works. Okay, so that that's pretty straightforward. Let's save the changes. Yeah. And let's take a look at the presentation, the, the PowerPoint dish type one. Do 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 again taking a while to load. Not the end of the world. Okay, overall, I kinda, again, very office-ish, so that I appreciate. Okay, again, all the things I'd expect are right over here. Add slide, let's see what I have to choose from there. Okay, I can choose my different layouts. Insert, chart, all that fun stuff, that's good. Collaboration. Protection plugins, I can add YouTube videos, the Asaurus photo editor, add video, add audio, that's all good. I'm sure I can just save as a normal PowerPoint, or I can s use it as an open document uh, presentation template, which I can then open in LibreOffice. So overall, that looks pretty good too. So overall, this looks pretty solid for editing documents. Nope, not going to save. Okay, and let's see, let's go back to connect the cloud. Next cloud, own cloud. I don't have any of those clouds. Okay, so let's close that. Now let's try to see how fast LibreOffice opens. Just as a comparison. So let's go to Office. First, let's check out uh, LibreOffice Writer. That's like the word equivalent. The cool thing about LibreOffice and OpenOffice is they're free. Okay, you don't need to have a Office 365 license and all that stuff. I mean, you can always use Google Docs, but that always requires an internet connection. Unless you have like a, you install, you, 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 you set it up for offline, which you could do. Okay, so here's LibreOffice over here. That didn't open up too bad. See, the interface is not quite as modern as, as only Office, so this looks more like sort of older 90s type uh, interface. Not quite as intuitive, but I'm sure all the features are there. Edit, view, insert. I can insert all the things. It works. This I can add, insert a bookmark. I mean, this is what I like the text, the shape, uh, styles, gallery. Yeah, so that's is what it is. Okay. Let's don't save. Now let's do the Excel version. Let's go to the Office uh, Libre Office Calc. That's their spreadsheet software. So that's gonna open up. Do 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 do. It's opening up on my other screen. Here we go. That looks pretty straightforward. Again, not quite as modern feeling as open office but certainly did open a lot quicker let's try some formulas two three equals sum okay that works pretty straightforward i can make multiple sheets that's good insert all sorts of cool options here although i won't lie google sheets definitely always wins my heart just because you can connect with the forms and which is pretty nice. Um, okay, and the last one is present presentation. Uh, do, 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 do. Office, and that's gonna be LibreOffice Impress, which is your presentation software. Give it a second to open. And there it is, which is pretty straightforward. Looks like any kind of other presentation software. Again, the LibreOffice interface isn't quite as suave, but uh, it does a trick. Okay. 
and then there was a couple other LibreOffice things here. I just want to check them out. LibreOffice Math. That's just gonna be a math thing. Impress. Draw. Just for make charts. Yeah, that's about it. Um. So yeah. Just so you're aware, there's also one more suite that is available on Linux. Let me go find it. So if I go to where I want to go to settings. I think where is the store thing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, desktop store, application panel, preferred applications. Software. Well, we'll do this the easy way. We'll go to the Snap Store, where you can install Linux Snaps. So I'll give a second for the browser to open. And we're going to go to Snap. Things like Snapcraft IO. Yep, Snapcraft IO. And this is like the Snap Store where you can download Snaps for your Linux. And I think these pretty much work with pretty much any Linux distro because the nature of the way they work. Um, choo 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 choo. Okay. Let's go to the store. See only office right there at the top. Featured. Let's see here productivity. Seymour's over here. It's always kind of misleading. Let's see dry projects. Chromium. LibreOffice is right there. Only office is right there. Uh, I swear there was one more that I saw. Multi-pass. Warden's. Standard note, send cat. So simple note. Let's go to next. Let's just do it this way. Office. Only Office. Lieber Office. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought I one thought of one more, but uh, I guess I'm not finding it right now. But yeah, there's a snap store. There's a lot of other really good stuff on there. So that's all I want to do in this video. Just kind of show you that you guys have these tools uh, if you're using Linux. And, and encourage you to use Linux because Linux is awesome.